It was a tense meeting, but bottom line, NJ Transit needs to recruit experienced engineers back to the agency, and the system of communication with customers needs a major upgrade. A day late, a dollar short for NJ Transit commuters, thousands of which experienced countless delays and last minute cancellations in the past couple of weeks. It's been challenging, <laughs> and I sincerely hope the governor can come to some agreement with New Jersey Transit how to improve service. NJ Transit blames cancellations on unexcused engineer absences and a December 31st deadline to install positive train control. We're really getting tired of this, and uh, I understand there's the positive control issue, but we really need to get a handle on this because it's only going to get worse. The governor admits he may have underestimated the mess he stepped into and says the board now has a war room mentality. Fixing NJ Transit is going to be a multi-year process. We are climbing out of a deep hole after eight years of failure, in particular as it relates to NJ Transit by the Christie administration. No, this is no longer Governor Christie's problem. It is your problem. The commuters just want to know when they will see some relief. This is inescapable. This was eight years of complete and utter negligence of the of the country's premier commuter rail and bus system. I'm not passing the buck. It, it, at the end of the day, we own this at the moment, and we're gonna we're committed to getting this right. But I want folks who are watching out there to realize. Uh, the mess that we're digging out of. Assembly Republican leader John Bramnick responded, saying commuters have not received that information as to the status of trains and train delays. Blaming Chris Christie seven months into the new governor's term does not provide the needed information for our commuters. This morning, five trains were canceled, two due to a manpower shortage, and three because of positive train control. Executive Director Kevin Corbett says there is a PTC plan in place and has already spoken to the unions about engineers calling in sick. We even built in a margin for you know unexcused absences, but this summer we've had a much higher than traditional unexcused absence. There was very little done to recruit engineers and train them in a timely fashion. We are trying to make up for that today. NJ Transit says that nine new engineers will graduate and be put on the roster for next week, but some I spoke to in the agency fear that they will too will be wooed away to higher paying jobs at agencies in New York. We are live in Newark. Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. Oh.